Hi. Uh, today I would like to talk about uh, a very important psychologist, who, uh, namely uh, Henry Murray. Uh, first of all, we have to know that our personality it is a great mystery even for ourselves. It is so difficult to understand and achieve the secrets of our existence and our personality. Henry Murray is one of the few people who really try to provide a different perspectives uh, what our personality uh, looks like. First of all, Henry Murray tried to provide a very comprehensive framework or theory regarding uh, human personality. Murray's theory includes present as well as past, includes conscious and unconscious uh, uh, factors together. At the same time, it includes physiological and sociological aspects together. So, uh, even the other interesting point about uh, Henry Murray. Henry Murray used the concept uh, of it, ego and super ego just as Freud did, but Henry Murray tried to interpret this concept uh, from different perspectives. He understands this concept not the way Freud uh, understand. So, uh, what we must know about Murray's uh, theory, first of all, uh, his uh, uh, he uh, tried to give uh, to different fresh meanings to basic concept of Freud and secondly Murray tries to uh, categorize human needs from uh, to uh, from different angles when we look at uh, uh, Henry Murray's theory, as we said, he considers human personality as a great mystery without any boundaries. There is no boundary for human personality. So it is so difficult to understand, explain it. So, but uh, Henry Murray tries to uh, wrote a very important book, actually, Exploration in pers uh, Explorations uh, in uh, Personality. In this book, Murray tries to provide an interpretation which helps us to see different uh, side of our character and our personhood. Henry Murray uh, 
developed a theory of personality which has been called as personology. So the concept of personology means uh, Henry Murray understands the study of personality as a sort of a different science, as a, as a different uh, field of study. That is why he called the study, uh, his study of personality as personology. Uh, uh, according to pers Murray's personology, human personality rooted uh, in our physiology as well as uh, psychology. But uh, he focused, he thinks that the center of our personality is our brains. So our emotions, our conscious and unconscious memories, beliefs, attitudes, or whatever, all of them, they are originated from the brain. And also, Murray don't believe that our personality requires attention reduction. So this is a very important differences between Murray and Freud because uh, uh, I mean in, uh, Henry, uh, Henry Murray in one side he agrees with Freud because both uh, say that uh, human individual, uh, they must aim to tension reduction, but, and then Henry Murray says something else. He said that uh, there is no need for personality to be tension free. So in other words, uh, Henry Murray don't believe that there is tension free personality. So. Uh, tension is a part of personality. Yes, of course, uh, in some level, it is reduction is desirable, but it is impossible to eliminate uh, the existence of tension in our personality altogether. And and in this regard, he says something very important. He said that, just assume that we have attention-free excitement. I mean, this state, this state uh, will be the source of distress and pressure for us. We need a source of motivation, excitement, dynamism, uh, Energetical, uh, energetic behaviors. So, what is the source of our movement? What is the source of our energy? What is the source of our excitement? So, the tension give us uh, excitement, movement, and dynamism, uh, which uh, we desperately need. So, this is something uh, Henry Murray values uh, tension uh, different from Freud. 
So I think that's a very important way of looking uh, of tension by saying that tension is the source of our joy, is the source of our excitement, it's the source of our dynamism. Probably uh, another important idea Henry Murray uh, tell us is he said that human personality is always in the state of constant change. Every time human personality has been constructed. So from birth until the end of life, human personality is something constructed, developed, uh, renewed, and reshaped. So Henry Murray by considering uh, human personality as something always in the process of uh, rebuilding, that means that Henry Murray believes that past and present together has a shaping influence on the construction of our personality. And personology of Henry Murray uh, doesn't construct or imagine a universal uh, type of human personality. He thinks that every person is unique, no one is like uh, the other one. So that means that personology based on diversity, personal diversity and personal uniqueness. It is interesting that Henry Murray used three main concepts of Freud, which are it, uh, ego, and superego, but he interprets them, he gives, uh, he gives different meanings to this concept. According to Murray, human uh, person, human personality, has three main divisions. The first one is it. What it means in the theory of Murray According to Murray, it includes our negative, uh, destructive, immoral uh, impulses and desires. So, this definition of it is almost the same as uh, Freud's, but Henry Murray also said that yes, it includes these negative aspects, but at the same time, it includes positive aspects such as love, empathy, altruism, helping others, and so on. So, positive 
it is the dimension of our personality which includes positive and negative aspects together the other dimension of our personality uh, the second dimension of our personality is uh, super ego. Uh, according to Murray, yes, our super ego, um, in other words, our conscious about what is good and uh, what is bad, or moral consciousness, we, uh, super ego represent moral and moral consciousness. Uh, has been shaped by parents, by other uh, authority figures around, but at the same time, uh, Murray said that people's peers, the group's people are spending their time. The group's people uh, are uh, ha having affiliation with them. And also, the culture in which people are living in are also very important uh, in the formation of uh, Super ego. So that means that parents, authority figures, peers, and uh, cultural factors together shapes uh, our super ego. So in super ego, we have a sort of Ego ideal. Uh, Murray used the concept of ego ideal. Ego ideal basically uh, means that there are some behavior we strive to we strive to achieve. We strive to uh, we want to actualize them. I mean, we think that uh, if we achieve or if we practice these behaviors, moral behaviors, they will represent uh, our uh, ego ideal. So, ego ideal uh, are representing our best moral behaviors which manifest our ideal, desires, ambitions, aspirations, values, and so on. The other uh, concept which uh, Murray is using is the concept of e ego, is, which is the third co the concept of uh, ego is the third part of our personality. Ego, in the theory of Murray, it is the central or the it is the main organizer of our personality. So, ego represents the rational dimension of our personality. It is uh, it directs, decides, wills, leads our personality to a conscious and rational direction. So, 
ego is a sort of rational dimension which compromise the demands and the desires of it and superego together. So, uh, through uh, ego, our personality uh, is not uh, a clashing area or a, co a place of, of a place of conflict between it and superego. So uh, ego reconciles the desires of it and superego. This is, I think, a very important contribution uh, which ego is making to our personality. So these are the main uh, concepts in the theory of Murray's personology. In Murray's personology, Henry Murray tried to try to help us to see our needs from different angles. According to Henry Murray, what the main dynamic behind our behaviors is our needs. So, according to him, we have primary needs. Uh, the first need is, of course, the first primary need is to survive. Survive to life. And the second is, the second primary needs is physiological needs such as eating, drinking, uh, sexual needs, and so on. So, these needs, they are primary needs. We need to satisfy our primary needs in order to remain uh, in life. The second type of needs, according to Murray, is secondary needs. Uh, the second, our secondary needs, they are basically uh, a sort of emotional and psychological needs. The needs for love, the needs for uh, relating ourselves to other people, the needs for achievement, the need for affiliation, and so on. And also, there are some uh, needs we need, we are sure, uh, uh, we, we are, uh, there are some state or situation in life we need to we express our need in a reactive manner. For example, when we see a snake, we realize that uh, our life is in danger and we start to escape. We start to run. Because we are running in order to 
protect ourselves from snake. So this is a sort of uh, reactive need. And there are also uh, needs, we just manifest our needs uh, proactively. I mean, it, it, is, it just uh, happened spontaneously. Uh, for example, uh, when we are getting hungry, naturally we are searching for food. I mean, it is it's a sort of spontaneous response uh, we are giving uh, to, to these uh, spontaneous needs. So, uh, these are the basic uh, primary needs, secondary needs, reactive needs, and proactive needs. They are uh, the main uh, concepts have been used by Henry Murray in order to give us a picture about the category of our needs. And of course, reactive needs, proactive needs, primary needs, uh, secondary needs they are not too much separated from each other according to Murray our needs this different group of needs help us uh, with each other uh, so if one type of needs helps the other type, uh, Henry Murray used the concept of subsidiation uh, concept. So, this is a very important uh, point he is making. And at the beginning of my uh, pre presentation, I said that uh, Henry Murray accepts the importance of past in the, or in the formation of our personality. He thinks that environment or past influence uh, us uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, in order to activate a need for us. If environment or uh, our past experiences influences us and then as a result of this environmental and past influences we will uh, we feel something uh, something new that means that uh, we are uh, this is a new situation for us so Henry Murray used the pressure or the influence, environment and past, if they lead us to a need, he used the concept of press for this new situation. Of course, most of the time, The pressure from environment and the demands of our personality 
maybe cannot be reconciled. But at the same time, our uh, personal system, let's say it, try to reconcile the environmental influences and the needs of our personality. So if uh, our personality reached a combination of uh, environmental pressure uh, and the personal needs, that means that our personality reach a state of order. This state of order, our personality is in, has been called by Mure as Tima. The concept of Tima represents the state of order in our personality. And as we see, uh, Henry Murray tried to provide a very broad explanation about human needs. And after he used the concept of primary needs, secondary needs, uh, reactive needs, proactive needs, press, tema, and then he uh, he organized a list. In this list, basically, he talks about uh, twenty types of human needs. Uh, I would like to give some example from these needs. For example, uh, we need to be understand. We need to uh, we need to understand what is going on around around us. We need to make some generalization, general explanation about the events of around us. So he talks about the need for understanding. We need to be loved, we need to be protected, we need to be sustained, we need to be supported. We need to uh, be forgiven, we need to be consoled. So this situation calls succurrence. And we also need erotic and sexual relation and intercourse with the opposite sex the needs for sex and we need to uh, impress others sensually uh, sensuality give us a pleasure so the, the, the need for sentience, sentience uh, is talking about sometimes we also need to humiliate uh, exclude, reject other. We, we have the needs for rejection. And sometimes we just want to have fun. I mean, and there is no, uh, there is no, we just want to be, we just want to be entertained. We are not seeking a particular object or anything. We are just Seeking entertainment for the sake of fun. That's it. So he's talking about the need for fun. And we need to, sometimes we need to impress other people. I mean, so we want other people to see us and to hear us. So 
the need for exhibition he is talking about. We want to control our environment. So the need for dominance is another important uh, our needs. So sometimes we are using force in order to overcome difficulties. So aggression, we need aggression. Human beings need aggression. And we want to achieve something remarkable, something difficult. The need for achievement is something very important. And sometimes we just obey external force. We just, we, we feel ourselves very passive and helpless. We just want to be, we just uh, surrender our wills to higher authority, external authority. So, Henry Murray talks about the needs for abasement. So, I think uh, Murray's theo uh, list of human needs and his theoretical uh, framework for our needs help us to see our needs from uh, different angles and uh, uh, he, his theory help us to see uh, our needs uh, from a very uh, different and important perspective. So, uh, if we uh, sum up, we see that Henry Murray is very optimistic about human personality. Human personality is always in the process of becoming. It's, it's in the process of uh, construction. So that means that every time human individual has an opportunity to renew his or her own personality. That's a very important uh, point. And Henry Murray talks about positive and negative aspects of our personality together and he thinks that uh, human beings uh, is a rational beings through the use of uh, his or her own rational ability uh, every human individual has a capacity to increase uh, to increase their rational, uh, sorry, to increase uh, their positive aspects. So, the main message or the main lesson we can, what uh, we can learn from uh, uh, Henry Murray we have wonderful ability and capacity for development, for growing. So, growing and development is a part of uh, being human. So, it is our uh, responsibility to grow and change ourselves constantly in order to improve our humanness. Thank you.